Hi there folks, Jean back with more Mars Anomalies. Prepare to be astounded. Weird square structures and more found in Aonia Terra. We're analyzing this high-rise photograph. And as always, I'll include the link below. Omega Hydration Detection acquired on the 27th of March 2009 25 centimeters per pixel and as always I'm showing you images from the JP2 black and white map projected file this is a crop from the low res JPEG and we're going to be looking at uh, some of these strange little white specks that you see scattered throughout this image it's located 63.92 degrees south, 237.09 degrees east. And a look at the topography, a rather flat terrain. And uh, fortunately there's a nice CTX as well as the high-rise photograph of these anomalies. So let's check these out. And now there are the first two anomalies that I'm going to be showing you. Show these uh, square structures, objects. On top of this one is what looks like uh, a pot in the shape of a heart. And on top of this one, a rectangular piece that might be joined to that object over there to the top left. So the size of this square object is uh, about 12 meters by 12 meters and the other one about 14 by 10. So let's check that out. The heart shape, not that it is a heart but uh, just the shape of this object, that's about 6 meters across. So what could these things be? So let's zoom in on uh, the larger of the two and it looks like this uh, sort of metal plate slightly above the Martian surface on the bottom right and then running diagonally across we've got this uh, rectangular piece also it looks like slightly elevated above this larger object straight edges here and uh, at the angle this was taken this is probably 90 degrees also the uh, something rather strange this also seems to be uh, lifted above the surface some strange object there in the opening and then uh, the square object almost perfectly square you could say with straight edges and right angles at all four corners and then this raised part to it but like a rounded side here and it seems to arc up and then go around but that seems to be slightly bent down like an opening perhaps so I haven't seen anything like this on Mars yet. This is the first time that I've seen anything like this. I'm rather excited. I hope you guys also find this interesting. Um, then some more odd anomalies. We're looking at that hexagonal disc shaped object, which is about 12 meters across. And a little feature in the center is about four meters in diameter. Let's check that out. Another one of these. I've shown so many of these in the past. Looks like um, a really common feature on Mars. And then uh, this area that looks like a broken megalithic ruin. Specifically this block here and its strange uh, design and shape. It's about 14 meters tall and about 15 meters wide so let's zoom in on that and I must add this photograph is extremely noisy it's got a lot of these uh, really thin stripes 
running through the image so that's definitely a camera artifact but check out the shape not your typical boulder or rock looks like some type of megalithic design another one of these strange uh, hexagonal objects a little dome or feature in the center and this thing's about 15 meters long by about 12 meters wide and that little dome is about 2 meters in diameter also this seems to be partially raised on off the Martian surface and over here there's a little triangular entranceway little circular feature right above the apex another one of these uh, what looked like hexagonal or maybe a rhombic type of shape and this one is uh, about 8 meters across 8 meters tall and this feature over here is about 3 meters across and it looks like a little pyramidal feature and right there we've got a small circular hole in this area that's been carved out almost like a, a cone that's been carved a little hole right there so could this have been some type of water gathering structure in the past maybe even at present who knows and then this weird structure here and uh, we're looking at this plectrum shaped object just below that triangle and that's about 8 meters long about 5 meters wide and the little dome or sphere is about 2 to 3 meters in diameter so check that out another one of these strange objects a little dome this looks like a flattened dome or feature in one corner and this object is about six meters by six meters there's a little looks like a sphere lying next to it down here we've got another one of these hexagonal shaped artifacts this one's about 12 meters across convex in shape and right there in the center we've got a small dome or sphere what looks like a circular hole to the right straight edges there's some geometry and symmetry in this shape and then this one here about 8 meters across and what looks like this could be some type of uh, life form, I'm not sure. It's like this jelly object or something lying there, a bit darker in color. But check the strange uh, shape. Not that that is a life form or anything, but it looks odd. It doesn't look like any of the other features or knobs that we find on these rocks or boulders or megaliths. Hmm, interesting. The two parallel pieces to it running through there, and then a piece running through perpendicular to those, like an H, almost like an H shape. Maybe it's a glyph. Also partially raised on this one side. Look at these be entranceways these being vents and water gathering water condensation gathering parts and let's quickly hop over to Google Mars take a look where I found these anomalies this is from my previous video I did yesterday where I found uh, these strange structures and objects 
as well as these uh, two UFOs. This one uh, seems to be parked next to a crushed hangar entranceway. And that one's just sitting there on the surface. So let's check out these anomalies. Also in Aeonia Terra. Those are a couple of those anomalies we looked at. So let's switch on the CTX mosaic and uh, zoom in closer to the surface. As you can see, it's rather featureless and flat. And um, I'll be showing you a lot more anomalies in this terra unbelievable amount of anomalies I think that concludes this video for the new subscribers thanks for joining my regular viewers and uh, subscribers thanks for supporting the channel I do appreciate it stay tuned and I'll be back with more anomalies bye bye for now